What's going on guys? I'm hopping on to give an update on my harassment, um, dealing with gang stalking at the Aaron Corner Police Department, uh, who are conducting and facilitating sex trafficking, rape, sexual assault uh, toward myself. Um, this particular incident is going to be a video showing you the two police officers over in Scottsdale who are uh, being paid to monitor, surveil me everywhere I go in that area, uh, that I go to stay in, uh, at a hotel in that area, if I go shop in that area, if I go eat in that area. Um, these police officers, that it's, it looks like it's about three, <clears throat> that have been paid to surveil and monitor me in this location. Uh, on this particular night, I'd gone in to get me something to eat um, at a restaurant. Uh, it was about... 9 30 the restaurant closes at 10. i go in um i order my food i get sitting down about 9 50 9 55 and they proceed to close the doors and lock them while i'm in eating my meal about five minutes into my meal a dirty disgusting illegal mexican walks up to me and starts telling me that i need to leave with a real aggressive real uh attitudinous uh, demeanor and I'm asking him who are you what are you talking about he just keeps telling me I need to go I need to go it's still closed you need to get up get out just feel rude as he's walking out so I go up to the front counter and I ask the manager who I already talked to while he was locking the door and I said you know does he work for you all she says no I said did you tell him to come tell me to leave he said no I asked her who he was. He said he was the security officer for the lot, which is the plaza that I was in. He said, I only opened the door for him so he could come in and get something to drink, which is what he asked me to do. So I go outside. And like I said, this is not the first time that I've been harassed by this piece of shit. So I decided that I'm going to make a document and get a report. So I called the police, um, told them what needed to be done. And of course, this is what happens when your phone is hacked, your your devices are all uh, cloned, and you're trying to reach out to law enforcement or to anyone for that matter. They're going to send you who's already involved in the club, who's already a part of the con. And that's why you end up seeing the same shitty piece of dog shit faces, because they're sending the same officers who are already on the payroll for this dark web underground sex trafficking organization that they're they're running so the video is going to begin and you're going to see this little robot piece of shit trash scottsdale police officer who's already on one of my other videos because he's been paid to surveil and watch me in this location So I'm standing outside waiting for the police to come up. And then, I don't know, it was maybe a minute after I had called, he shows up. So here he comes walking up. Take 
they will be made. Made in Nazareth. inside the building and, was, and actually spoke to me and told me that I needed to leave. No, I asked him, I said, why? I said, the workers don't say I need to leave. And he just went over and got his drink, which is what he was supposed to be doing in the first place, and then he walked out and left. I, when I proceeded to go to the front counter and I asked the manager, who's a female, if they needed me to leave, she said, are you finished with your meal? She said, no, we just locked the door because you know nobody else is allowed to come back in. So I said, okay, so who is this? I said, does he work for you all? She said, no. Like I said, I don't want to make things draw this out. I said, he, he left. I just, need to get, I just need to get the report so I can go. I need to go. So, and, I, and I've explained it twice. So, so I just want to get a report because what he's doing is harassing, and, and, and I know you all, what you're doing as well. So I just don't, I don't want to waste any more of your time. I just want to get – no, no, I am because this is wasting my time. I'm just getting the report because this shit is going to stop. I need to put it in my documentation so I can get it all ready to go. So if you can just go ahead and just finish up – that's great. I just need to get – That's fine. But like I said – I just I don't want to hang out. I just want to. And what is your badge and your name? I have the name and the badge. I appreciate. I appreciate. It. I, appreciate it. I know who you are, as far as that's concerned. Right now, I'm stuck on the phone with another rep who is the person that I spoke with first. Good. Because I haven't heard from her yet. Okay. So, and she's gonna talk to me today. Now, you already heard him say that this guy, this other police officer, had talked to the security guards because he did. He walked over to his SUV. And he talked to him for like maybe a minute. And here comes the third Scottsdale police officer for this, for this call. This is the third. Now the other two bitches, these uh, two what, what, here. What is your, your name and badge number? Blashford. Thank you. And what is his name? I know yeah, she gave me his first name. These are the two name. that have Nobody already been assigned and paid. Oh, you didn't get his name when you went over and there? monitor and oh. watch me. Oh, okay. And they're already on other videos that I have. This third guy here, I don't know him. You see how they're doing? You see this shit? All this whispering. And... I'm going to go get the manager and she's going to be back on the phone. So I go over to the manager and I, you know, get her and I said, hey, do you mind giving a statement about what happened? And she said, yeah, no problem. I just can't open the door. Because mind you, I just walked out and they just like locked the doors behind me. Do you mind letting them know that you guys didn't ask me to leave and, and that he came in and, and, and did what he did? Just that's all that needs to happen is Okay. So she says yeah. So um I don't know who wants to come over and take her statement about what happened and just concur. You're not going to? Oh, you're not? Oh, okay. <laughs> We're not going to take her statement. But you still so think you have not, authority. They're not going to come in and try to get everything confirmed, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Okay, yeah. You still think you have authority to try to trespass me based on nothing? So once again, uh, the Scottsdale police refuse to do their job. They refuse to take the information that needs to be taken. When I'm talking about being stalked and I'm being harassed by a security officer that is not a police officer. So I'm going to go get the information. And I'm going to be out. You see all the illegal activity going on in this video with these police officers? You see all that? You see them sitting over there in the like, zoop, huddling around, jacking off? Having a little jack off session. Yeah. So this is the security. This is uh, Northeast Security. The 480-330-7928. Let me 
this is the, uh, I guess this is like the Shea Boulevard parking lot. So are you guys not going to do anything about my complaint? That's, that's beside the point. He didn't have any jurisdiction to come inside that building and right. tell me that I need to leave the building when they're not telling me to leave. Right. And that's what he did. I'm not trespassing for what? For what? For what? What's the reason? Not happening. Not happening. Not. Did you see that? He doesn't need to have a reason. Did you hear that shit? He doesn't need to have a reason to trespass me. This is the type of world these motherfuckers want you to live in, and they think they live in. He doesn't need a reason to trespass. Let me run that back. Like the shade. So are you guys not going to do anything about my complaint? That's, that's beside the point. He didn't have any jurisdiction to come inside that building and tell me that I need to leave the building when they're not telling me to leave. Right. And that's what he did. I'm not trespass for what? For what? For what? What's the reason? Not happening. Not ha he doesn't need to have a reason, and he wants me trespassing me. Now, this security officer, based off of what the the, the restaurant management said, that he, his family owns that security. So I'm going to get them closed down. I'm going to ruin that business. Um, because what they're doing is illegal. This man is participating in sex trafficking. He is associated with it just by his association with the, the police officers in this video. What he is doing is illegal. He's surveilling and stalking without permission from anybody on a legal level. He has no uh, badge. He has no police uh, uh, accreditation. I mean, he has no credibility whatsoever to try to act like a police officer in any way. And as you can see, the police officers are acting legally as well. Um, but this is the type of stuff that you deal with when you're going through harassment by these fake agencies that pretend to protect you, but really what they're doing is organizing the crime that they're acting in.